Here is a close-up of the Eversoft um, Heart Trinklets. And the colors that you see here are Raspberry, Red, Lilac, Purple, and Lavender. And then you'll notice that each one is finished off in a little unique way and all those directions are in the instructions for the, the pattern. So to create these, what you do is create two sides, the same exact hearts, and then you sew them together on, around the outside and you stuff them before you finish closing them. To make this heart, you will need worsted weight yarn, a size E crochet hook, and I'm using a Deborah Norville wood hook, and some um, contrasting color yarn for a stitch marker, it doesn't have to be this long, and a pair of scissors. So this is worked from starting on the inside, the, the beginning chain is right in here. So the directions, I'm going to push this off to the side, this up here, my scissors off to the side. So I leave a long end on my starting chain and then I make a slip knot and the directions say to chain 14. Okay, now um, for round one, it's a continuous round that goes down this side of the foundation chain and then you're going to come back and work on the other side of the foundation chain. So to begin with, you want to work three single crochets in the second chain from hook. Right there is the first chain from hook and this is the second chain from hook. So you just work three single crochets into that chain. Okay, then you work five single crochets in each of the, one single crochet in each of the next five chains. So you just do one, and I'm just picking up the top strand of the chain. Two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to work three single crochets in the next chain, and that'll become my bottom tip of my heart. So then I want to go back up to the uh, opposite curve. So I'm going to work five single crochets like I did on the other side. Okay, and that should leave you with one chain. So this is the bottom of the heart. So this is the curve up here at the top. So I'm going to work three single crochets in the top here. I'm going to move my starting chain over there. Okay, then I'm going to work now. I'm working down into the dip of the heart. So now it's just four. I'm going to work, I'm working in the unused loops of the starting chain. So those two loops that are left over, that's what I'm working into. So now I'm going to do a three single crochet decrease. And to do that, I'm going to drop a loop in this um, chain, in here, in the middle one, and then this one. So this, the middle one here, should match up with the middle one where I did the three single crochets on the opposite side of the starting chain. So now I yarn over and I draw through all loops and that creates a kind of like a, a three single crochet decrease it's called. Or three single crochet together. Okay, so now I want the four again. One, so I match this side. Two three and four. So that completes round one and this is the bottom and these will be the upper curves of the heart. So now I'm not going to join the rounds, I'm going to place my stitch marker. 
To place your stitch marker, all you need to do is lay the yarn on this side of your stitch. Before you do any stitches on for round two, you want the stitch marker right here. So then you act like that's not even there, and now you're going to be working into this three single crochet group. So you put a single crochet in the first single crochet, and then you work three in the center single crochet of that three single crochet group from round one. Okay, now down here to get down to the next tip, now it's going to be seven. So you work seven single crochets straight here. So actually it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, it's seven. And then I'm at the center single crochet of the three single crochet group. If you don't land up there, then you've done something wrong and you need to um, either start over or recount. So I'm going to do three single crochets in the lower tip here. And then I'm going to work seven again back up to the other okay there's seven now I'm at the center single crochet of the three single crochet group here and I'm going to work three in there Once you get the hang of this, it's all symmetrical and you won't even have to read the directions. So here, now I'm going down into the valley here and I'm just going to single crochet in four single crochets. Just like that. See how cute it looks? Okay, now I'm going to do another triple decrease so it should look like this before you get ready to do the triple um, uh, single crochet decrease. So I'm going to draw up this one. This The center will be the previous round decrease and then this one. So I'm going to draw up a loop in here, a loop in here, and a loop in here. And then I'm going to draw yarn over and draw through all four loops just like that. After the single crochet decrease, I'm going to work four single crochets. And I overshot the um, beginning of the round by one stitch. And what I want to do here is just move my stitch marker over and have that be the end of round two so that I always want to keep my four and four here. So now I'm going to move on to round three and I just place my stitch marker there between the last stitch of round two and the first stitch of round three. So now all I do is work one single in the first one and then three in the next one and that is the center single crochet of that three single crochet group. Okay, now along the sides here I'm going to work nine. Okay, there's my nine, and I'm at the center single crochet of the three single crochet group. And now I'm going to do nine back up to the other side.
Okay, then I've got my nine. That's what my heart's looking like now. So cute. Okay, now I'm going to do three in the center single crochet of the three single crochet group. Then I'm going to do four. It's always four along the top. Okay, now I'm going to do a little um, three single crochet decrease here. I'm going to draw up here, draw up in the center, and draw up here. So you know if that's centered over the previous round decrease that you, you're right on track. So there's that. Now I'm going to do the same thing and work my four. Normally the round would end here, but I'm, I'm moving it over each time because I want to get my four in. Now I'm going to bring the stitch marker from the back forward and it's just weaving through these rounds. So I'm going to place it here before I continue on to round four. But at round three, it looks like this. And this would be a great place to stop if you want just to, to use this for a little applique. I think it'd be adorable. So now um, I place my stitch marker and I put one single crochet here. And I put three singles in the center of the three single crochet group. Like that. And now instead of nine, it's going to be 11 down to the next point. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now I'm down at the tip. Put three single crochets down there. And then 11 back up the opposite side. Okay, and then I'm going to put three in the center single crochet of the three single crochet group. You know, if you want to just practice this, this is a, a size E hook is kind of small, um, but it's really good to use the smaller hook because when you stuff the hearts, the stuffing won't show through. So you want this to be tight. But if you're doing this for an applique, you could use a bigger hook and a bigger yarn even. So here's one, two, three, four, and now we're going to single crochet three together. So we're right on, on target right there, like that, and I'm going to do the four again. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to move that stitch marker over. And same thing, just one last round. So see, that's the end of round four. And it would be great for a applique at this point, too. Okay, one. And then three. And then now it's 13. So if you noticed, it's increasing by two. Okay, there's the 13. Now I'm at the bottom tip. I'm back up the side with 13 again.
and then three in the center single crochet up here okay then four down to the center Okay, see, I'm, I'm always relieved when I get up here and I'm, I'm right on track. So one, two, and three for my single crochet three together stitch. And then I just do one, two, and three. Now on the very last one, which this is the last one, I'm not going to do one more stitch over here. Uh, and move my marker. I'm just going to do the three because there is an extra stitch right here that counts as the fourth one. So um, now all I do is I'm done with um, the entire heart and I've just completed round five and I'm just doing three single crochets here and then I'm going to slip stitch in the next single crochet to join this round and then I'm going to bring uh, that through here to complete my slip stitch like that and then I'm going to leave a really long end here, super long. I'm going to cut behind my hand like that. And I'm just going to pull this all the way out. And I, the reason why I cut such a long end is because I can use that to sew my hearts together. So then all you do is make two of these. And the right side of this heart is the side that you were working on the entire time. And the opposite side would be the wrong side. And I suggest that you um, steam press these a little bit. I have another video that shows how to do steam pressing. And you see these are both the right sides. So you would put the wrong sides together and just use the long end and stitch the sides together and leave a little bit opening um, before you close it up and put your stuffing in here and then finish sewing it together. Or you could just go around here with crochet, crochet stitches and crochet it together. But that's how you make the heart trinklets. And links to everything that you saw me use are listed below. And thank you very much for watching.